Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make the most profitable factories in Factory Simulator for Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3, and Tier 4. So, let's get straight into the video. Okay, so the most profitable T1 factory is the Copper Wire Factory. So, the first thing you're going to want to do is place however many copper mines you want to place down on a row of conveyor belts and then add a T1 furnace and then a T1 extruder and voila you've made the copper wire factory now let's go to the T2 factory so now for the most profitable tier 2 factory is the mechanical assemblies so for the mechanical assemblies what you're gonna want to do is make this design and we're going to be starting off with the right side first. So for the right side, you're going to need three copper farms because three is about the most necessary amount you're going to need. And then just place down some conveyor belts, a T1 furnace, a T1 press, a container, which will prevent clogging and any sort of problems like that a tier 2 assembler also another container and the tier 2 dual assembler and for the left side what you're gonna need is three iron farms conveyor belts and then tier 2 furnace tier 2 press and then also another container and after you guys have done that you have completed the most profitable tier 2 factory and obviously if you want to make this factory better just change out the miners for advanced versions and also for the tier 2 dual assembler and the tier 2 assembler now let's go on to the tier 3 design so now for the t3 factory we are going to be making the t3 living composite factory and first, what we're going to do is start with the right side, which is the resonite side. So first step is to place down however many resonite farms you want. And then place down a tier 3 furnace, two tier 3 extruders, a container to stop clogging, a tier 3 assembler, and then the tier 3 dual assembler. Now let's go on to the left side. So for the left side, what you're going to want to do is place down however many super tree farms you want. And then place down a T3 saw, T3 press, and then add some corners only because it's too tight to compress it all together and have it side by side and then have a another container to stop clogging again and then the T3 dual assembler now finally let's go on to tier 4 now for the T4 factory we're gonna be making the obsidian charm factory so let's get to it all we're really focusing on is this top layer because below it is just a copy of the top one and this one's a little better than the bottom one so first we're gonna start off on the very right side so what you're gonna want to do is either place down the lava crystal mine or the ice crystal mine and you can place down however many you want and then you're going to want to place down a T4 laser cutter. And then have it... Whoa. And then use a right turn conveyor belt with a wall at the end. So then you could place a container that's half on and half off. And then have another container connected to it. I'm not sure if you need this tiny conveyor belt at all. I just placed it there just in case. And then the T4 
dual assembler and then have it curve again with a right turn and a left turn into another container and then place down the last T4 dual assembler. Now for the middle. So what you're going to want to do for the middle is add the second crystal farm which for me is the ice crystal farm and then add another tier 4 laser cutter and this time a left turn and <laughs> if you guys are wondering why there's so many gems here it's because I think it's because my game is lagging right now because this usually doesn't happen but there is a lot right now it's kind of messing up my game anyways you're gonna want to do you're gonna want to mirror what you did on the other side with the wall and the container so that the container is half touching the left turn and half off and then place a wall of blocks that's blocking off the left turn and then again either add the tiny conveyor belt or not and then add another container which goes into the tier 4 dual assembler and then the right and middle sides converge into one so let's go on to the left side now for the left side what you're going to want to need is however many tungsten farms you want and then place down a tier 4 furnace a tier 4 press and then a left turn and then a right turn and have a long conveyor belt connect to another container and then that's all if you guys had any trouble with this factory I'm gonna leave you with an overhead view of it just because it was a little more complicated than the last view so feel free to pause here and check out the specific areas where you need to build something in a specific way and grab whatever resources you need for this and yeah that's about it if you guys enjoyed this video please like comment and subscribe and if you guys at all had any trouble with this video, uh, please leave a comment with what you had trouble with, and I'll see you guys later.